Okay, so we have crash. We're working a sit stay and we're gonna be working it around another dog uh, that he's not familiar with. So it's gonna take a lot of control for him to stay. So here comes Hunter with the new dog. Nope. Okay, so he broke. So we're just gonna come back over here, put him in a spot, uh, just like we did with Karma. And then I'm gonna walk back. See, he's back over there. Hunter and the other dog didn't stop moving. You'll see Crash look at me from time to time because he's like, hey, am I doing the right thing? He's looking for direction, but not too, not too much direction. We don't want him dependent upon us. We want him to be independent and think for himself. Okay, get a little closer, Hunt. Use a lot of uh, verbal praise for... Nope. So, Crash is more rambunctious than Karma. So, he's gonna wanna play more. But it's important that, that you don't recommand. You give the command to stay one time and one time only. After that, you just do a verbal correction and then a physical correction until he gets the idea. If we have to say, no, nope, if we tell him to stay multiple times, then he's gonna say, okay, I can get away with it three times because they didn't correct me until the, the third time. We wanna know that if we tell him to stay the first time, we need them to stay the first time. So there we gave him a, a more solid correction, which is a pop on the leash. And we keep going. We don't avoid this situation. We don't uh, make it any easier for him. So consistency is, is a major factor in dog training. You have to be consistent with everything, almost like with a child. Uh, if you're not consistent with discipline of a child or praise or, or anything like that, the child will, will seek attention somewhere else. Nope. Leave it. No. See how he's thinking about that? He's staying where he is. So since he's thinking on his own, it won't be as hard of a correction. Because the last time he wanted to go play with her. So that's a, a great indicator that that crash is learning. No. Okay, now he's digressing. <laughs> so we're just gonna bring him back over here. Nice solid pop. I really need to get a tripod so that way the phone's stationary. <laughs> so sorry about that. I'll, I'll be getting that shortly. Now this new shepherd, uh, the one Hunter's working, hasn't had any obedience. So we're just working on a heel and a sit. So. Just like with the pups, we allow her to get away with a little bit, a little bit more freedom. And then once she understands, no, once she understands, then we start tightening up on the, the commands. And of course that's a crash expressing his displeasure with the pops on the leash and on the collar. It's not hurting him. He's just getting frustrated. Nope. And frustration is fine as long as we work through it and we get up. No, we get onto the high point. If we get onto a high point and then we stop the exercise when he's doing well, then he'll remember it. It's like muscle memory. And what he's doing is he's just barking a little bit because he's getting a correction. 
which is fine. He could bark all day long. It's almost like uh, a pup when you put them in the crate. They yelp. No! They yelp. They whine. They cry. Uh, waiting for for you to let them out. And if you let them out, then they know that yelping and crying will will get me out of here. So if you stop doing a physical correction when the dog barks or whatever and you know you're not doing it too hard then he he's going to learn hey if i do this they'll stop giving me corrections and they'll let me do whatever okay he did really well there okay hunter this time don't get so close we need to end it on a solid note he did really good there This is taking a lot of concentration on his part. Mental uh, stimulation everywhere. There's a Lowe's truck over there running. You have Hunter out here, you got a new dog. We're asking him to stay in one place instead of playing. Okay, Hunter, that's good, you stay there. And yeah, we'll see if he'll come to me. Uh, he might just stay where he is because he doesn't want to get in trouble. All right, crash free. Good boy, good crash, good boy. So that's that's that for that stay exercise. We're gonna do other stuff.